Under the imminent threat of a strike by the Category 5 Hurricane Rita, the Rowan Halifax, a Letourneau 116 C-Class jack-up drilling rig, began to prepare for evacuations. For several days as Hurricane Rita approached, the seas and winds continued to intensify and the rig was subjected to the effects of the hurricane's full forces. As the winds reached speeds in excess of 160 miles per hour, the seas increased to an estimated 90 feet, causing the drill rig hull to separate from its legs. Upon separating, the legs toppled next to the structure and the hull drifted several thousand feet away before sinking. As the sea calmed, the legs were found to be laying on the seafloor, the starboard leg laying on top of the port leg, with the starboard leg a mere 12 feet from the base of the structure. To recover the legs, Diesel Marine mobilized the Derrick Barge Boaz and the custom-built Barge 415. To salvage the 1,400-ton leg sections, the Barge 415 was positioned to within 12 feet of the structure. Five lifting wires were lowered to the starboard leg and connected. Once the five connections were completed, the 1,400-ton starboard leg was lifted approximately 200 feet in the water column. And the Barge 415 and Derrick Barge Boaz were moved back into way. With the barges a safe distance from the structure, the starboard leg was secured and prepared for the 70-mile transit to the reefing location. Upon completion of the starboard leg salvage, the remaining port and bow leg sections were lifted and transported using the same salvage method. As the final bow leg section was delivered to the reef section, the section was positioned over the reef site. The bow leg was then lowered and placed next to the two previously reefed sections. Once the bow leg was firmly placed onto the seafloor, divers then disconnected the salvage rigging and the project is completed.